noted sculptor Mia Westerland Rosen created Flank 2 in 1978. Using copper and concrete, the piece balances geometric form with the paint-like texture of the sculpture surface and challenges viewers to stretch their perception about energy and perfection. After almost 30 years on campus, the work had begun to show the effects of time and Miss Westerland Rosen came back to Western to return her amazing work to its former glory. My name is Mia Westerland Rosen. I'm a sculptor from New York City. That's why I'm here because the piece was made of cement with steel rod in it, which was the way you did that then. And in 35 years, the steel and the concrete work against each other and it corroded and has fallen apart. So I'm here to rebuild the piece. Uh, Mia Westerland Rosen's piece comes in, uh, in very unusual ways. She had an exhibition at the Vancouver Art Gallery, major one-person exhibition. And her gallerist, the, the famous New York gallerist Leo Castelli, approached the university and offered them to uh, offered the university to uh, show one of her pieces that that was in, in her exhibition here on a long-term basis. So it was originated as as a loan uh, uh, and uh, came down here was installed and eventually she donated her work to the gallery. So uh, I contacted her and she said, well, how about I just remake the work? So what I did was I did change the, the technique. Instead of uh, making it solid cement with rebar in it, which is an old-fashioned method, um, we've done it with what's called glass-reinforced cement, which is called GFRC. And you, um, you make the mixture with um, half Portland, half sand, a polymer additive, and fiberglass strand. I started using resin and I used it for about five years, and I made fairly um, simple shapes, uh, but they, had a, they were a bit organic, although reductive. That's what post-minimalism was. Nobody wanted to totally run off and make figuration or anything. They wanted to keep abstract, and they wanted to keep reductive. The reason I did resin and cement were was cost. They were both very cheap. Well, I had met a, a bunch of artists in New York um, through friends from school. They, you know, they were very encouraging and I started making work, uh, as I say, when I was about 27 or 8, I started making work to show. And I think there were only three women artists in a big group of, of male artists. And I know that uh, it was me, uh, and Lee Pontecu and, and Marisol and uh, I, I asked Mia a little bit about it when she was here and she told me that uh, it was a very difficult atmosphere, uh, very sexist and misogynist and, and um, it was very hard for the art, uh, women artists, uh, Marisol and Lee Pontecu uh, kind of left Mia was the only one who, who just stuck with it. it. Must have been incredible pressure. People in those days thought that male artists were better. It's not so much that anymore. <laughs>